What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you more juicy info on the latest Destiny 2 news and that is the Curse of Osiris DLC. I have received some new PvP gameplay, albeit only a short preview, we do see some new things definitely worth covering. Also covering a few things I missed from the reveal trailer in my video earlier. But before we go any further guys, do you want to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much more? If so, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server, linked within the video description. Okay, so firstly, check out the PvP trailer if you haven't seen it already. Then we will cover the interesting points of it. Clash. Says warlocks are better with books than with guns. Okay, it was me, but I was lying. So some pretty epic things to talk about. Let's start with the lineup of guardians we see here. Some seriously interesting pieces of our armor for sure. The titan on the right though kind of looks weird to me. I'm not sure about that army, I must say. The rest look okay at best. The warlock in the background though, um, along with, actually I think the hunter, I think actually all of this could be the Osiris set of armor, because obviously we're gonna get a new Osiris set of armor and we're also gonna get a new uh, Osiris set of weapons as well, which we'll talk about in a second, but yes. Probably apart from the Warlock at the forefront, the other three, the Hunter Titan and Warlock in the background, are all representing that Osiris armor for sure. Next up we see this mean ass looking shotgun, which looks to have the number 14 written on the side, along with some weird logos in gold on the front end. This again could be a part of the Osiris themed weapons, I'm not sure and can't confirm that at this precise moment in time. Another interesting thing to mention here though is the level of these guardians, you can see it states they are level 25, so expect that to be the next increase in level. Next up we have something I believe will be one of the new set of Osiris themed weapons I spoke about just. We see a titan here getting slapped on by a warlock and hunter. So he pops a bubble, notice the sword on his back. This I believe is an Osiris weapon and we will come to that later. We then get to see the Telesto, looks more or less identical to before, even offering that void burn too. Okay, so here on the back of the Titan, we see he has what surely is a new SMG, but it's the theme of this weapon which I believe is the new Osiris theme of weapons. In the reveal trailer earlier, we saw this auto rifle, which no doubt is a part of the same family theme. I actually said in that video that I thought it was an exotic, but hoped it was a set of new weapon designs, which it turns out it is. This auto rifle, the SMG and that sword we just saw are all the same kind of design with that white wire piping on them and that gold coloring also. Next up we take a look at this new Warlock helmet and damn I love it, it kind of reminds me of a concept Predator mask. Dreadlocks the lot, nice work on this for sure. Moving on and we see another weapon which in my opinion is a part of the Osiris family and that is this hand cannon the hunter is holding. I mean just look at that thing, surely it's a part of the Osiris weapon family. Next up we have something epic. 
It's interesting yet weird at the same time, but it is epic. It's another weapon which no doubt is a part of the Osiris family, but it looks to be the exact model of the Fate of All Fools, the Stranger's Rifle, and the no time to explain them Destiny 1 weapons, one being a Scout there and the other two being Pulse Rifles. Interesting though, a reskin. This is the Pulse of the family though for sure. Moving on and we get to see the actual Osiris SMG in action for a split second. Looking great. Next up we have this awesome but weird looking hunter helmet. What design is that? Where is it from? I need to know. Okay so we're coming to an end of things to cover within this trailer but that end comes with the best thing. This selfie emote. I'm in love. I need this. It is so so epic. So we're going to speak more about the reveal trailer and cover a few things I missed from my video earlier. So here we see the hunter holding what looks to be the fawn. I mentioned that in my video earlier, but the Guardian in front, it has been speculated that this could be the Touch of Malice. The shape is kind of the same, but in my opinion it could be just a weird angle of any weapon. It does though, I'm not going to lie, it does look like the same shape as the Touch of Malice, but to say for sure, at this precise moment in time, would be basically misinforming you guys. Something else worth a mention, and that is it's believed the lighthouse, as we know it, gets destroyed. Within the reveal trailer, we see two instances of the same space within the lighthouse. The first, I believe, Holmes' brother Vance, and the second, the exact same spot has been demolished. This might happen within the story of this DLC, or could just be a cinematic of the future Ikora states or Cyrus may have seen. It will be interesting to find out though. Something else I missed which is definitely worth a mention is the fact that where we see Osiris fighting the Vex and those Guardians seem to be frozen in space and time, I'm pretty sure this is the Vault of Glass, the room where we have to defend the pads and shoot the Oracles and then fight the Templar. I'm pretty sure this is the right hand side of that very room, I could be mistaken however. But it does kind of make sense as to why these Guardians are already here. Also we have heard and I can confirm that the water glass is mentioned by a few vendors. We know this from the audio files which were data mined from the PC version of the game. So it all could piece together nicely. Also I didn't spot it before but the weapon Osiris is using here is no doubt a part of that same family of Osiris weapons. This must be the scout rifle or it could be the sniper. I'll go with the scout though. But yes people on that note we have come to the end of the video. Some interesting things to talk about for sure. Let me know what you got to say down below within that comments section. If I missed anything worth a mention let me know that also. But guys I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave it a like it really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.